left, and I, I bring this with me everywhere, the note that the Treasury Minister left, and it's, it, there it is. Dear Chief Secretary, I'm afraid there is no money. That, what was that? Sorry, sir? What was that? Why don't you debate with him directly instead of pointing fingers we, at him we in debate, his absence? Uh, are we? You can't keep well, I, I, putting I, It's more very and dangerous in elections to disagree with people, but sir, I, I don't agree with you, sir. I actually think... Well, you're wrong. Well, I, well, okay. <laughs> I should be there. I should be there. Thank you, sir. Hey, David. Hi. Go right, Hi. Uh, if I think it's David Cameron carried it in his pocket. Yeah, I think it's, it. his, it's his regular prop. Uh, let me, let me... Running a business the last few years is anything but a joke. And if that's the way your party wants to treat the economy, how can we trust you? Can you stand there and say you didn't overspend and end up bankrupting this country? That is absolutely ludicrous. You're, you're frankly just lying. So... Hello. The problem is, you do sound a lot like the other guy because both of you seem to, <laughs> both of you seem to not entertain the possibility that you might not get a majority, which is absolutely ridiculous. And sure. you really need to be honest with voters about okay. what you might do in the event that you sure. don't. Thank you. Second row from the back. Yes. Hi, Mr. Clegg. Hi. Um, the public suggests they you can't say, forgive. Mr. Clegg. <laughs> no. no. Uh, Mr. I just wondered if you've got plans for a new job after next week when you become unemployed and your party becomes an irrelevance. Charming. Uh, no, I don't. <laughs> I, I have to say to you, if either of them still think they're going to win a majority, they need to go and lie down in that darkened room. But, look, no, the point... <laughs>